Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and today I want to talk about landing with the Garmin 530. I recently did a tutorial on uh, planning a flight plan with an approach in the Garmin 530 and now I want to go over a little more in depth on the actual landing and turning to the approach. I'm using the same flight plan as we used in that tutorial on flight planning and we were flying from Monterey to San Francisco and this is our flight plan. Our last waypoint was Reray and our destination was San Francisco and you can see here we're coming up on Reray and now we're going from Reray directly to San Francisco and of course you don't want to fly that way you're going to get in a lot of trouble you need to take the correct approach and here's our flight plan with an approach for ILS 28 right and so now I want to show you how to enter this approach and what to expect uh, from the Garmin 530 first off we need to understand the approach long before we get to this point and we would have done that uh, when we actually figured out our flight plan. So we would have gone to the approach plate and seen what was expected. And looking at our approach plate here, you can see right here, IAF, this is the initial approach fix, Menlo. We are going to enter our approach at Menlo and we will fly to Sepin and then we will turn and pick up the ILS frequency in our nav radio for our approach. Now what altitude do we need to be at? We can see at Dumba we need to be at 4100 feet and if we look here we can also see the Woodside VOR on their 036 radial it says 4100 to Dumba which is right across the Menlo. So that's a pretty good indicator that we need to be at 4,100 feet at Menlo. When we get to Sepin, we need to be at 3,200. And at this point, we should be picking up the glide slope and coming in on the nav radios. Another thing we want to know is if we miss the approach, what do we do? And right here we see we are to head straight out and climb to an altitude of 600 feet. Then we'll start a climbing left turn to 3,000 feet on a heading of 281. Then we will fly out to the Viscu and intersection and hold out there. Also, we want to make sure that we have the right frequency tuned in our nav radio for the approach. In this case, it's 111.7. There's a lot more here, but to keep this video short, we're going to stop here with the approach plate. You need to know that the Garmin 530 GPS will not land the airplane and it will not fly the glide slope. We need to switch over to the nav radios and we will do that when we make our turn from Menlo to Sepin. Now it's time to activate our approach. So we go to Procedure, we go up to Activate Approach, and we hit Enter. And now you can see we are flying directly to Menlo. So we need to make sure we're at 4,100 feet when we hit Menlo. So I'm going to get the old plane flying here. And we will pick this up when we get to Menlo. I will pause here. I want to back up here for just a second. I meant to show you what would happen when you activate the approach. Notice our VLOC radio or our nav radio. Notice that your radio stack and your VLOC, they're the same radio. Just wanted to point that out. But when you activate the approach, which we will do here, let's go to procedures activate approach notice that your standby frequency changed to the VLOC frequency or the localizer frequency for San Francisco 28 right let's just take a look at the approach plate 
and here we are at Menlo to Seepin and you see over here that our frequency is 111.7 and the ident code the Morse code here dot dot which is I and dash dash dot which is G and so on are the identifiers for this localizer let's take a look at that notice that we also have the IGWQ here in the GPS so this confirms that we are indeed on the correct frequency for this approach so I just wanted to point that thing out to you so now we're on our approach and what we'll do for the rest of this video is we'll pick it up just before we turn into Seepin so remember we want to be at 4100 feet when we get to Menlo and at 3100 feet when we get to Seepin all right we're coming up on Seepin we're 26 seconds out and we're going to be making our turn to 282 so we want to make sure that our frequency is set to 1117 for the localizer we'll be turning from terminal mode to LNAV or lateral navigation not vertical navigation what that means is we're going to stay at this altitude we are not going to be able to descend at all with the GPS we'll need to switch that with the CDI needle here and go to VNAV so we can pick up the glide slope with the nav radios so we also need to make sure that we are at the right altitude if we're not at the correct altitude if we are a little high we will not pick up the glide slope and that means we'll just fly right over the top of the airport so let's see what happens okay getting ready for the turn six seconds we've switched to LNAV so let's switch over to VLOC scroll down select approach get rid of the GPS you can see we're on the glide slope here's our glide slope indicator right here we are turning it indicates glide slope up here and as you can see we are headed straight into the runway so that's it remember to set VLOC remember to check your frequencies and remember to make sure you've got the right altitude so I hope this helped I hope you got something out of this if you like this please click the like button if you would like to leave a comment that would be great and thank you again so much for watching, and God bless.